Cottages at Winget being built by DreamFinders Homes in Union County, North Carolina. Let's check it out. If you are looking to buy a brand new home in Charlotte, North Carolina, and you're not sure where to start, then you're in the right place. With so many builders and neighborhoods in Charlotte and the surrounding suburbs, you're probably a little overwhelmed by all of the choices. Fortunately, by learning about the different builders and what they offer, you can narrow down your choices and find the perfect place to call home. Listen, on this channel, we do the homework for you saving you time and energy for more important things. Every week, we post videos showcasing all the builders, neighborhoods, floor plans, as well as everything you need to know about Charlotte and the surrounding suburbs to make your move easier. I'm also a licensed real estate agent and I help people just like you buy, sell, invest, and relocate in the greater Charlotte area. So if you're into that sort of thing, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell. That way you get notified every time we post content like this. And whether you're moving in a month or a year, be sure to call, text, email, or better yet, schedule a Zoom call. I'd love to help you start your journey to Charlotte. So in today's video, we are touring cottages at Winget. But before we do that, just remember, if you have any questions about this neighborhood or any new construction in the Charlotte area, all you have to do is reach out. All my contact info is on the screen for you. Just remember when visiting new construction, you want to have your realtor with you when you're visiting for the first time. Otherwise, it'll be too late to add your realtor to your file later. Call me before you head out to visit new construction. That way we can connect and I can get your questions answered before we start the process. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a drive around cottages at Winget. First of all, the location is fantastic. Winget, North Carolina is in Union County, which is one of the fastest growing counties in North Carolina, for good reason. In Union County, they have great school ratings, low tax rates, and an easy commute to Charlotte. So if those things sound good to you, Union County might be a great fit. DreamFinders Homes is based out of Florida and is the 14th largest builder in the U.S. And it's a great time to get to know DreamFinders Homes because they are building several new communities in the area. They have two coming up in Indian Trail, one in Matthews, one in Mint Hill, and another in York, South Carolina. One thing that really sets them apart from many other builders is that they are offering inventory homes as well as to be built homes, meaning they can accommodate your timeline, whether you need something quick or you want to take your time and choose all of your finishes. Their prices are also very affordable without giving up on quality finishes. In cottages at Winget, they are going to end up with 180 homes. And things are just beginning here. You have plenty of time to get into this neighborhood. There are plenty of benefits to getting in early. First off, prices tend to increase as construction progresses. Secondly, DreamFinders Homes is offering some pretty sweet incentives to their founding homeowners, including lower interest rates with their preferred lender. Currently, buyers who are getting financing through their preferred lender are getting rates as low as 2.99%, which is significantly lower than the current national average. They're also offering up to $10,000 in closing cost assistance and a special bonus for hometown heroes. The community is also investor friendly for long-term rentals. 
There are eight different floor plans being offered, ranging from 1,604 square feet to 2,813 square feet. They're gonna have two to five bedrooms and two car garages. They are offering both one and two story homes, but the majority of homes are going to be ranch and ranch plus plans. And all of the homes have the primary bedroom on the first floor. This neighborhood truly gives the vibe of a 55 plus community without tacking on that age restriction or those hefty HOA fees. Speaking of which, HOA fees are going to run you $780 for the entire year, and they're offering a gathering site with a fire pit, a picnic pavilion, and sidewalks on both sides of the streets. Currently, base prices are starting between the mid 300s to the mid 400s, making this one of the most affordable new construction options in Union County. All right, it's time to tour one of their most popular floor plans, the Oceana 2. As we're touring, just keep in mind that everything on the first level is going to be just like the Oceana. The two at the end of the name simply means that it has a second story. So there are a couple different versions of the second story and we're gonna take a look at one of those today. All right, so walking into your Oceana, you've got a hallway and at the end of this hallway, you're gonna turn left and find two bedrooms and the main guest bathroom. So what I really like about this first bedroom, the front bedroom that we're gonna take a look at, is that it is pretty large. When it comes to new construction, especially with ranch plans, bedrooms tend to be rather small. That first bedroom was actually 10 by 14, meaning there's plenty of space. Whether you need it as a bedroom, um, for someone who lives in the house, or if you just need a guest bedroom. Then you've got your bathroom here with a full tub shower combo. Now this bedroom is actually a little bit smaller. This one's actually only gonna be 10 by 12. So if you don't need this third bedroom and you would rather have it as an office or a flex space, then that would be the perfect location for that office. Walking out, we're going to get into the main living space in the home, and it has everything you need here. You've got a dining room right here at the beginning. We're going to have a ton of space here. So if you have a really big dining room table, you, this floor plan can actually accommodate that for you. When we walk through this hallway, we're gonna have like a butler's pantry here and a full walk-in pantry next to it. Tons of space. This pantry is way bigger than the pantry I have at home. I would love to have a pantry this big. And then one more room through and you're going to get to your laundry room. This laundry room is very spacious and that door there enters the garage, two car garage. All right, let's take a look at the kitchen. What I really love about this neighborhood is that the entire community offers natural gas for the range. So that really gives you an upgraded luxury gourmet kitchen feel when you have those natural gas ranges. Of course, you've got beautiful finishes on all of this. You've got your granite countertops, the beautiful white subway tile, and in this kitchen they did a light gray on the cabinets, but um, they, they have chosen great finishes across all of the kitchens in the neighborhood. All right, we just passed another dining space, but we're gonna head outside and check out this covered patio. This covered patio is really large. And then on this one, they've actually extended out this patio a little bit so you have some additional space. The yards are very manageable. They're less than two tenths of an acre so you do not have to worry about a ton of yard maintenance in this neighborhood. And then of course the living room. This living room is actually very large and depending on your furnishings, I think you're gonna have space for whatever you want. If you want a sectional in here, you can certainly accommodate it because there's plenty of space. All right, of course, save the best for last, right? The primary bedroom is going to knock your socks off. This primary bedroom is massive. It's 14 feet by 15 feet. So you definitely have space for whatever furnishings you want in your primary bedroom. 
and they have done such a great job with these finishes they've got the tray ceiling in here and it's just very beautifully done walking into your primary ensuite bathroom here you are going to be amazed you've got double vanity double sinks here and you've got a huge shower this is a great shower option for you in the primary bath. It is surrounded by tile. It has a tile floor. It's got a bench, some little shelving for you. It really has everything you need in this shower. And then of course, they give you some privacy option here with the water closet, which I always appreciate in new construction and a really generously sized walk-in closet. So when you walk around the corner, you're gonna realize there's lots more space for all of your clothes and maybe even some storage because this is a lot of space in here. All right, so that is going to be your, your Oceana. That whole first floor is gonna be your Oceana. Now we're gonna walk upstairs and see the second floor. This one is giving us the option with the rec room and an extra bedroom and bathroom but you can also get simply a rec room upstairs um, so that's another option as well I really like this one it gives you room for maybe somebody who needs a little extra privacy um, it's almost like its own little apartment upstairs you can have a living room space in the rec room or you can make it a game room or playroom whatever you're looking for but then you get a fantastic option with this huge bedroom. This bedroom is actually just a, a little bit smaller than your primary bedroom, so it is really a large size bedroom. And you also have a walk-in closet in the bedroom as well as in the rec room. So you have two walk-in closets upstairs on this model. Not only that, but they do give you an extra bathroom up here as well. So if for some people they might have a teenager or an adult child living at home, having them upstairs is a fantastic option. Well, that has been the Oceana too, with the second floor being the rec room and the bedroom and bathroom. I hope you've enjoyed this tour as much as I have. Be sure to reach out if you have any questions. Well, before we finish out our video, I did want to give you a little bit of map information because who doesn't want to know what's around your new neighborhood? Cottages at Wingate is in Wingate, North Carolina, which if you can tell on this map is southeast of Charlotte, uh, very, very close to the South Carolina border. If you're going to jump onto 601, you can take 601 down into Pageland. So you really are in a great location, whether you want to be close to the city, but also it gives you an opportunity to be out in kind of the country a little bit. It gives you a little bit more of a rural feel while still giving you access to everything. So let's go ahead and zoom in to Wingate. Cottages at Wingate, you're not gonna see much here on the map yet because the map is always a little bit delayed from what's actually happening in real life but you saw in the video that we have some vertical homes here, we've got streets, we've got a lot going on right over here in this area. Now, what is nearby? That's what everybody always wants to know. The first thing I wanna tell you about is the Wingate Community Park. So if you take this walkway here, this walking path, you can actually get right into Wingate Community Park. There are some fields here, the Wingate Community Center is right here. If you have parties, events, activities, you are right next to the park. This is a great location if you really enjoy being outdoors and enjoy being at the park. Now, besides that, you are also just moments away from the elementary school. Wingate Elementary School is right here next to the park. So you have honestly it's very great proximity to things that you might need on an everyday basis. While we're talking about schools, let's go ahead and find the middle school. So East Union is the middle school and that's just gonna be further down 74. So here's the school. Let's zoom out and find where we were in Wingate. So just down 74. 
and then the high school is Forest Hills. All right, Forest Hills is gonna be right there for you. So Forest Hills is gonna be just a bit closer than the middle school. Now, you also probably noticed that Wingate University is right here for you. Wingate University is probably about a mile away from the neighborhood. Here's the park, here's the neighborhood, here's Wingate University. If you are a college student or maybe you have college students in the family, then this is great proximity to that college. There's also, if we're going the other direction, you're only about seven miles from downtown Monroe. Downtown Monroe has lots of things that you're going to love. Restaurants, boutiques, there's something to do in Monroe all the time. It wasn't always like that, but Monroe is really popping up to be a cultural hotspot. And besides that also, the hospital. Of course, you always wanna be near medical facilities. You are just down the road from a huge hospital, Atrium Health. But that's not all. No matter what you're looking for, whether it's shopping or something in the city, really you can get to anything within 15 minutes. Whatever you're looking for, if you need something, it's gonna be a close drive. One last thing, you're only five minutes away from the 74 bypass, making it super easy to get anywhere in Charlotte. That's all we have for you today in our video about Cottages at Wingate by Dreamfinders Homes. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found value in it. And if you have, please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up and be sure to share this video with someone you know who might be interested in this neighborhood. As always, leave a comment below if you have a question about the neighborhood, if you have a recommendation for another neighborhood to feature, or if you just wanna say hi. And of course, all of my contact information is down in the description below. If you're planning a move to the Charlotte area, let's schedule a Zoom call that fits your schedule so that we can talk more about what you need. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.